us as young people. Today we are here to dialogue because this is also the road to Nairobi. See how we could strengthen our relationship. We were privileged to be given the opportunity to put together a Youth for Youth conference, the first of its kind to be part of the third China Africa conference on population and development. It has been a very strong gathering um, of ministers, of high profile people, mainly discussing very technical issues. However, the Youth for Youth Forum gives a much broader space for more young people, 200 young people. It's been a good avenue for us to bring out the issues of young people as we relate it to the ICPD, the International Conference on Population and Development. Can we hashtag her? Hashtag. Hashtag. The government of Kenya together with UNFPA will be hosting the Nairobi summit to mark 25 years after the ICPD. And it's important that young people are also given the opportunity to make their voices heard. We're here to present the State of Youth Address to help the world listen to the voices of our own. We had a State of the Youth Address that was presented by a person from Africa and another young person from China. What we're facing as young women within my community include high youth unemployment. This is making us vulnerable to unpaid and unsafe forms of labor. We also had a discussion surrounding the transgenerational dialogue between a youth delegate who attended the ICPD in Cairo and also young people who are looking to participate in the Nairobi Summit on Population and Development. So the engagement was really not purposeful. But today, I think that young people are taking on more valued roles and you're, you're addressing issues that are relevant to you. There's more inclusiveness. You're able to participate in all processes. You're being consulted. We had a youth delegation from China. Personally, I find the interaction I had with the young people from China as very fruitful and eye-opening because they also brought with them a different kind of experience and outlook on the world. This is my first time to go aboard and it took me 16 hours to take a flight, get here and just really amazing experiences for me. And yesterday we still go to the local university and saw the local uh, students have what kinds of life and this is really special for me. It's very beautiful and there are students also very kind for uh, we talk, we chat with anything and I think it is us breaking and we all make friends each other. China and Ghana, we are all, always friends. Yes. <laughs> Let's work together in order to better future and make the impossible possible. We had parallel sessions which allowed young people who submitted abstract to deliver on the things they were doing and the innovations they developed. And with the birth of 5G technologies and new people have different culture background, but we have the same responsibility to make these words better. This platform, engaging between African and Chinese, is one of the few but very unique opportunities we have for us Africans to start um, innovating and finding solutions so that we don't become a very old aged population that has less education, that has poor quality health services, and all of the things that do not help in terms of development. The forum was not just steel, it took a very interactive style. Hello guys! Hi. We had a tweet meet where young people had the opportunity to discuss using Twitter live during the program. There was also a surprise element to it when young people came to dance in a flash mob style. At the end of the Youth for Youth Forum, there was an outcome document that was developed in which young people talked about the things they wanted the governments to do for them. One of the main things they spoke about in this document was the fact that sexual and reproductive health information should be made available and accessible to young people across all ages without discrimination on the basis of their gender, their race, or their age and economic status. We are the children. 
it ended on a high note with young people coming together with a lot of positive energy and vibrance in the room where they together they held hands to say yes they were going to stand for what they themselves had developed through this conference in Accra, Ghana.